Podcast. Hope you're doing well today. Um, today I wanted to do this video to break down exactly how I've made a million dollars in real estate in 2017 as a single agent. So today is Saturday, February 24th, and I'm working today. I'm actually in between appointments right now. So this morning I had to go all the way down to Fort Morgan, which is about a 30 mile run from my house. Um, so as I'm driving, um, I had a lot of time to think. And so I was sitting there contemplating on the drive there and back about all the incredible things that's going on in my business right now. Um, last year, I sold actually over $40 million worth of property, 130 deals. This year so far, I've closed $9 million worth of properties. I'm closing on another million next week, so I'll be over $10 million on the year, which is really where I was at this point in the year last year. Um, so, which is fine because right now I'm spending about half of my time building this other business around speaking, coaching, and writing. And so, uh, as I was driving down there and driving back, I really was thinking really hard about how I've gotten where I am and, and why all these incredible things are happening in my business and that they continue to happen on a consistent basis. You know, consistently I'm making 100,000 a month and it just made me want to do this video um, because I was really kind of breaking it down in my mind how all this happened. So I wanted to give you three reasons um, that I feel like are essential to building a million dollar a year real estate business, okay? And really a lot of it is focused around mindset. Um, real estate is simple but not easy. The fundamentals to do real estate and be successful are simple. It's hard to implement those simple tasks consistently over time. And that's where a lot of people um, fail in this business. So. The first thing is, is you need thousands of clients, okay? If you're gonna make a million dollars in real estate, you need thousands of clients. So at some point, it has to be about a lot of clients, right? The second thing is, is you have to effectively communicate your message and who you are and, and who you project yourself to be um, to these clients and prospects. Um, it has to be a, a, from a place of genuineness and pure. And the third thing is follow-up. Okay, you have to have a very effective follow-up system. So you need thousands of clients, you have to effectively communicate with these clients, and you have to follow up with them forever, for the rest of their life. Because the name of the game really, to make it to a middle year, is relationships. How many relationships do you have with property owners in your area? That's market share to me. Market share equals how many real relationships you have with property owners in your area. Whatever agents has the most real relationships with property owners controls the market share. That's the future earnings of that real estate agent. And I just believe that that's where market share is. Not how many transactions, how many listings, you know, how many buyers you have. I think it's how many real relationships with property owners you have. So the first one is you need thousands of clients to actually reach million dollar a year business. So the first thing I would say about that is, is that you, you can't spend a lot of time on any one thing. I think a lot of agents are spending too much time on one thing here, one thing there, and they're letting it really clog up their day, and they're not really being as productive as they could be if they would just think speed, right? Think speed until you're in front of a potential client, then think quality. Too many agents are just thinking too much quality. They're just doing too much quality, 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 not enough speed, right? Moving from situation to situation. Another thing I see um, along that same line is people that have a couple of properties under contract, it really just blows their mind and it eats up all their time and they spend everything they got, all their energy on these couple of deals that are under contract. I don't understand that, I never have. Um, I can't see how a couple of pending deals take up 40, 50 hours a week. Um, I spend you know, five, 10 minutes making a few phone calls to see exactly where we are on the deal, letting everybody know, and then I'm done with that for a while. At some point, you have to be okay with letting the process take care of the process. You know, Just let it happen, right? And focus your energies 
on building business, getting more clients, right? We need a quantity, we need thousands of clients. I really believe really strongly that, that if you talk to 10 to 20 property owners every day, that if you do this every day for years, right, years, that you will eventually be the number one agent in your area. If you're effectively communicating that you care about them and that you're not just worried about doing another deal, right? If you if you sound differently than all the other agents who are actually there, you know, the way that most agents communicate with prospects and property owners is that they just want a listing, they just want a deal, they just want an appointment. I think that's the wrong strategy. I'll get into that in a minute. But for now, I want you to understand that property owners in your area are unlimited. You can't talk to all the property owners in your area ever in your lifetime. They're the highest quality prospect. They buy and sell, right? They'll give you business now and they'll give you business later. You develop the relationship long term forever. You follow up with them effectively. You, you communicate with them exactly what your true intentions are, which is to help them. You're going to blow up. Right? So that brings me to the second thing is which is effectively communicate with these prospects, these property owners, and your future clients. You really want to communicate your true intentions, which is this. Most of you guys are great people. You care about others. You want to help. You're professional. You're hardworking. You're dependable. You're knowledgeable. You're everything that a really top-notch real estate agent is. You're, 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 you're the total package, right? But you're having trouble communicating that to your prospects. They're not getting that when they talk to you, okay? And I think part of the problem is the mainstream real estate training that's out there teaches you to go after the sale, try to make the uh, appointment, you know, try to land an appointment, try to get the listing, try to get the contract, try to get them to sign this, try to get them to sign that. And I think it's just the wrong strategy. Um, a lot of people base your production on the day on how many appointments you set that day. I don't think that that's what you should be concentrating on. I think you should concentrate on how many real relationships and good conversations you had with property owners. I think that is what you should base the, the success of the day on. Um, I think that when you're in the mindset of, you know, let's set the appointment, um, try to get a listing signed, I think that you turn a lot of people off that you don't even know about. I think you're losing people because you only talk to so you can only talk to so many people a day. Out of those people, you're losing a lot of them based on your high pressure tactics, your your strategy of trying to set appointments and make deals happen. Those people have already decided when they want to buy or sell, right? You're not going to talk them into buying or selling a property today. Your job is to make them feel comfortable with you, show them how much you care, show them how different you are from all the other agents that they have to choose from, and give them a reason, right? Provide value to them and give them a reason to pick you out of all the agents, to pick you to be their agent when the time comes, when they decide side, it's time to buy or sell. I think that a lot of people mistake my, my strategy here with being just a long-term strategy. How are you going to get deals now? How are you going to get business now? I'm telling you from experience that with this mindset of thinking long-term with your clients and you know focusing on more what their needs are and how you can help them instead of, hey, I have a buyer for your property. Do you want to sell? Or you know some other high pitch, do you want to sell tactic? I think that that long term what happens is is you accumulate these thousands of clients that you need to become a million dollar a year agent but in the meantime you run into all kinds of people that want to do deals right now because like I said they've already decided when they want to buy or sell if you're talking to enough people you're gonna run into those people that have decided now is the time and if you hit them at the right time they don't already have another real estate agent they're working with then boom there's you a deal and it happens all the time so you can build your business long and short term at the same time it's very effective it's very low pressure and people actually like you and want to deal with you whereas if you're just trying to set appointments 
Um, people are canceling appointments because you were kind of high pressure. It's awkward, right? You're just trying to get in front of them. You know, when they really don't want to be in front of you yet, they're not really ready to do anything. Have a good conversation with them and capture their information and follow up with them forever and let them call you when they get ready. Deal with the people that you run into that are ready to do something now and save all the rest of the people for later. So that brings me to the third part of this video, which is the follow-up, okay? So we have, we need thousands of clients. We need to effectively communicate with these clients and you have to effectively follow up with them forever. The way that I do that, I don't have a CRM. Um, I don't have any fancy thing that I do. I just send a weekly email to my database every week on the same day forever. And I've been doing this since 2007. So 11 years on every single Wednesday through thick and thin, through markets crashing, hurricanes, me changing companies, me going through, you know, really low points in my life, uh, all kinds of, you know, vacations. There's all kinds of reasons that I could have made excuses not to let this email go out, but it's went out every single week on the same day since 2007 and will for the rest of my life. That is the foundation and glue that holds all of my clients and all my database together and keeps them in tune with me and the market, right? And they can call me when they get ready. So you need thousands of clients. You need to quit putting so much quality into everybody and everything that you meet. Right? Let the process take care of a lot of that stuff and spend most of your time going after new business, which is talking to new property owners, 10 to 20 a day. Right? You need to effectively communicate that you don't care if they do a deal or not today. You're there to help them if they do want to do a deal now or later. And you know, you, you want to truly help them, right? You want to be there for them. You want to go to lunch with them. You want to develop that relationship and provide value long-term through the weekly email, which is how you're going to follow up with everybody in your database. So I hope this helps you with how to actually make a million dollars in a year as a real estate agent. It's something that's really been on my mind. I wanted to get it out. Um, so when I was driving this morning, it really gave me some time to think about it and what the key factors would be behind a video like this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Click subscribe if you haven't clicked already. And let me know if you have any questions. We'll talk to you guys soon.